We are the Vakahope crew, and this is our sailboat, a James Warham sailing canoe that we will be sailing all the way from the Philippines to the Solomon Islands. Our goal is to train, equip, and inspire young Solomon Islanders, and use this boat as a tool to show what it means to be a follower of Jesus. In the last episode, we were getting ready in Australia. You need to have the right mindset. To, to be on this boat and to be on this team. There's a lot of unknown, there's a lot that could happen. And we were not exactly sure what to expect. We are one step closer to the home Bay. Well, here we are in the Philippines. We traveled to a small fishing village where I left the boat last year. Not sure what state we would find it. Cheese and bread. Yeah. <laughs> Cheese Water. and bread. Oh, it's scarce out here. First impressions? Amazing. My expectation was like. The boat was so small, but when I see this boat, it's really good. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the baby hopping! The baby hopping! Baby hopping! Hey, this is the baby hopping! <laughs> We got some cleaning to do. Nice. <laughs> I am so happy to finally see it. And yep. It's so it's so much nicer than I thought it would be. Yeah, me too. It is built well, solid. For the last three weeks, we have been with the Wakahope in Aloro and working every day on the boat. We're all super optimistic and excited just to get the boat ready, you know, clean it and do a few small things and then just launch it, put it in the water. Ropes and sails. Progress, progress. We're moving forward. I believe we can launch, start to launch in a week. So next week, hopefully, we'll be seeing the boat in the water. That list uh, quickly evolved into a bigger list and some really big tasks came up. I'm in the aft port cabin, my cabin, and um, I found some more evidence of termites. Sense of termites here. So yeah, see how bad it is. That's the biggest salad so uh, we've been getting rid of the, the termites. I put a screwdriver through one of our bulkheads. Yep. Oh, it goes all the way through. That sucks. Okay. Um, this sucks. Really important piece of the boat. <laughs> and turns out it was rotten, completely rotten and damaged by termites. I had to tear it down piece by piece and more and more termites and in the end we hardly had any bulkhead left and so we had to build a new one and install it which I've never done anything like this before. really good process and uh, we learned a lot and I believe that the new bulkhead that we are that we have installed is 
even stronger. I'm oh, just sealing everything up. Than the previous one, or at least just as uh, strong. Getting to know the locals, the villagers have just, it's been such a joy. They, they've been so helpful, so kind, so humble. Um, yeah, it's just been such a blessing. I think our prayer has been for them to see Jesus in how we love one another. See this uh, blue water there, sweat blood. You can have a beer there if you want. <laughs> yeah, let's thank God for this wonderful day. Living around the people, the people of Samal, of Aloto, this little fishing village, and this little cove of paradise that they they just hang out in. They all live in community together and their simple lives, their quiet lives. The way they welcome and love us and are willing to help us as we have our boat sitting in the village. They're so willing, so eager to help. And without them being there, without the, the love they've shown us, we, the boat wouldn't be where it is right now. It would literally be somewhere else. But. We're just gonna take an engine check, you know, go over it and change the oil and, and get it ready for action and engine didn't start. And we kept on trying and it didn't start. We took it apart and it didn't start. So we just opened up the water pump housing and inside we discovered two pieces of impeller. One more lodged in there, at least one more. Changed that out, but that didn't help, and we kept taking the engine apart, and and nothing helped. And I I've been trying now for the last week, just full time, um, trying to to get the engine to work, and taking it apart too much, <laughs> too much. At this point, we are pretty low. There's no way I'm setting sail without a working motor. And time is running out for our weather window to sail all the way to the Solomon Islands this year. The favorable winds turn against us in May, and we have a long way to go before that. Unless we can set sail soon, I doubt we will make it. So now we got this back on, um, but we are gonna go to the engine. Why is that so much water coming out? We were just so excited to, to get this together, we forgot to film. So devastating. Because we were all so ready to get going. Is it loose now? It's loose. Yeah, I think we're done. It's been a rough day. Yeah. A lot of... feels like we're kind of going backwards in many ways. Engine isn't working. Yeah. A lot of termite damage and oh. an awful karaoke man next door. <laughs> I think our ears are going to break. Yesterday, we took the, the boat downtown to, to a mechanic. We had no idea who this guy was. We had no idea if he had time. We brought it here just 10 minutes ago and they've already are taking out the carburetor. Fix it, they look like they know what they're doing. Yeah, they, they seem pretty confident. They're just going for it right now. Yeah. It's like, no, no 
Just straight on it, everyone. But as soon as we arrived at the mechanics, they just grabbed the engine, put it on a stand, started taking it apart, and I think like after 15 minutes, they had the carburetor off and started cleaning it. I was like, what about this, this place? Super hopeful that, um, that they're gonna make it work. have a fifth crew member, Jerry. It was given to us by uh, one of our local friends for free, which is a bit worrying because I don't know, maybe it's a horrible chicken. And we're getting quite acquainted, the chicken and I. Um, she's definitely a little bit rude sometimes pecking me and pooing on me and pooing all over the place. Very stubborn, but I think she's uh, she's got kind of the same personality as me, so I think we'll be good friends. What now? Cauliflower. Huh? Cauliflower? Yeah. It's like Naomi's yeah, great at provisioning the wind world, just kind of tired. She she really keeps us going. She's like the glue to our team. Sammy's been sick. Um, he's had diarrhea and ear infection for the last week. And it's taken a doctor, 10 prescriptions, and five pharmacies to get here. Seems like they might have them. And also Paul, he got uh, a poxy thinner in his eye, a really, really strong chemical. Careful, careful, careful. Uh, this is what I want to avoid. The injury with Paul and Sammy being sick, I've just realized like, Wow, this is this is really this is really serious. As soon as we shared and opened up as a team together, unified in Christ, we we were able to push on and we were able to come together and kind of get our, get our thoughts back together. Yeah, just seeking God together uh, has been like I've never experienced on a team before. I've been on DCS, I've been on many different outreaches, but this is, this is really special. In my preparations for the trip, I was strongly advised to get a life raft, and so I had ordered one. The ones that arrived in the Philippines it got stuck in customs, and endless bureaucracy and corruption was keeping it there for over two months. Thankfully, I have a friend who has a friend high up in the system. Within two days, the life raft was released to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got the life raft. We got the life raft. And the EPO. And the EPO. And the engine. And the engine. In one day. In one day. First, set it up. Yep. Stand it up. We're getting ready to launch. 
Tomorrow, we're gonna push this thing down to the beach and assemble it. the water but the engine is not working <laughs> God, uh, put it back. 